Outraged citizens from all over the Salt Lake Valley and even out of state were at it again last Thursday. That is, protesting North Salt Lake's Stericycle Medical Waste Incineration Plant, a facility that the Utah Physicians for a Healthy Environment, a group of over 300 Utah doctors, say has no business even being in business in the neighborhood at all. Well, we got their attention. Protesters congregated at the waste plant located at 90 North, 1100 West in North Salt Lake with a plethora of some of the most creative protest signs we've seen in a good while here at Enviro News Utah. And we do see a lot. All of the signs present displayed different colors in a kaleidoscope of outrage against one of America's last standing medical waste incinerators. The escalating environmental battle jumped onto the media radar screen again last week when it was announced that celebrity activist Aaron Brockovich has agreed to sign on to the cause. And yes, that is the same Brockovich portrayed by Julia Roberts in the blockbuster movie. These people don't dream about being rich. Unlike local Fox 13, who pretended to be at the event by running clips from a protest last month, Enviro News Utah had neighborhood correspondents at the scene capturing it all. In related news this past week, other media outlets are finally starting to pick up on a very serious matter indeed regarding the outdated medical waste burner. The good old Ogden Standard Examiner followed up on a simply befuddling story that was broken by local Enviro News Utah last month, where Stericycle Vice President of Legislative and Regulatory Affairs Celine Hoboy was put on the spot at a local town hall meeting regarding the potential release of deadly and highly resilient brain-destroying proteins known as prions. There are studies that show that prions are really never fully destroyed and, and remain in the environment. Prions are the same agent responsible for causing mad cow disease, deer, elk, and moose chronic wasting disease, or CWD, and Creutzfeldt Jakob disease in humans. And according to the Center for Disease Control, the infectious mutating proteins carry a horrifying 100% fatality rate to an infected host. The open revelation to the public of the possible release of the deadly disease agent has sparked even more anger against Stericycle, a company whose back is already against the wall for, quote, cooking the books, unquote, regarding a two-year stretch where they were out of compliance with their Title V air pollution permit, all the while emitting massive amounts of deadly dioxins into the open environment. a unified message of complete and total shutdown of the incinerator spanning nearly all of the environmental and community groups. One has to wonder just how much longer Stericycle will be able to weather the firestorm. I think we're missing the, the whole point. Who cares if they're in compliance? Yeah. That's apparently compliance. The question is how do we shut them down? We don't want them in compliance, we want them gone. For Enviro News Utah, thank you for watching.